Yeah, we need a hand going to Worlds Unknown. Welcome, Welcome back to, to Crash Bandicoot 4. Yes. The Cositis portion of the map. Meanwhile, we have uh, also, some Dingo unfinished Dial business there. with Dingo Dial's rival now in great spotlight view that this is a conflict yet to be resolved in this story of twisting tails and crocodile appendages. And we are going to continue playing as Coco looking cool in the frosty level. Snow way out. That was no, the Pokemon no episode. Way man. Out, man. It was the one where the, all the Pokemon offered to sacrifice themselves in order to keep keep Ash warm. Do, 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 do. For some reason, that was on the Christmas tape. Ha! Huh. Well, it's not all it did. I'm sent to a real fraught history here. How many times have you beaten this clown anyway? Three. Really? Only three? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> They're counting. Ah, mm. uh, and that official, that officially retcons the uh, the entirety of the uh, 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 of the rest of the Crash Bandicoot games after after three out of existence. Yes, Cloud, you have to use uh, Opunawa's uh, time manipulation powers after you hit it in order to actually get these in time. All right, now get the other one. We're, we're, we're practicing. Because this game is uh, pretty good at giving tutorials, as it should, because there are a lot of things to give tutorials on. Frozen zombies. Don't let zombie man touch you. He's going to pull you into your doom! Ah, mm. rubber ducky floaties. Rubber ducky, you're the one. I don't actually know what that uh, what uh, that song is from. Sesame Street. Uh, really? It's a uh, it's an Elmo one. No, it's 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 Ernie. Oh, it's Ernie. Ernie okay. Ernie pl Ernie plays with a rubber ducky during bath time. Okay. Jeez, Mr. Gerdet. <laughs> I thought I was out of touch with some of these 70s pop culture references. Uh, well, I didn't actually grow all that much up with, uh, no, with Sesame Street. Like, the only thing that I knew, the one of the only bigger things I knew about Sesame Street was that uh, Grover and Super Grover were the same character, and yet it was supposed to be a, a big shock. Okay, now remember, you're still holding Kapunawa's mask on your head, so use it. Yeah, but you don't need to use it for these guys. You you do have to use it for those guys. No, you do not. You have more than enough time to squeeze through there. Yeah, this just makes it more dangerous. Well, because, see, by the time your pathway is cleared, he starts launching the, vo the no, volley all over he again. Wait, uh, he waits a full, sec uh, a full second in order to successfully reload. What are these men trying to accomplish here? And they're harvesting ice and trying to kill you. <laughs> they're harvesting ice. I mean, it is true that ice was a valuable commodity back during this... Uh, this this level takes place in 1954, so yes, there were still ice boxes. Are oh, you kidding? When I was your age, I used to carry blocks of ice up to four or five flights of stairs. Mm. I would not enjoy carrying up uh, blocks of ice up upstairs, especially because, you know, we know that with human contact, ice uh, starts to melt very quickly. And this is a reference to uh, to Wrath of Cortex. Is it? Y yeah, yeah you, you use Kapunawa's power. Okay, oh. you use Kapunawa's power, then, de uh, then detonate the nitro crate, uh, crates. Right, because there's a time because little do Clash, Crash Bandicoot real little do Crash Bandicoot players realize, like those who grew up with Crash Bandicoot 2 in 1997 when they introduced Nitro Crates, is that the blast is not instantaneous. There's actually a fraction of time when you have a moment to react, as revealed by Kapunawa's slow down time ability. You know, uh, admittedly, th uh, this puzzle uh, uh, this puzzle does in fact. You know, look more comp uh, look more complicated than it feels like because we've not actually had this power explained to us yet. So, well, go on, give it a try. 
come on. They're not they're not doing this to mess with you. They're not messing with you. They want you to learn something, silly. Right? Like, how can it be done? Well, time to uh, put on your experiment head glasses and your lab coat, because we're going to try something real quick. We could fail. We could also learn something. <sighs> you didn't actually <laughs> push the, uh, the mask button. Now, do I really? Just, yeah. You're not. Oh man. Well, Ask Cloud. I'm. I you was not, not the only player who turned around from that bonus stage. I, I freaking I guarantee that, you, Mr. bro. Uh, I understand that, Mr. President Cloud. But, <laughs> but Pass Cloud didn't even really attempt to do the experimentation with Kapuna Wa there. I just. I mean, you you saw you saw the co you saw the cognition process. You saw the wheels turning in my head. I I just I just didn't get it. Right. But let, let the commentators who are presently tutting the past player for not getting it explain that, yes, first you activate Kapunawa, then you tut, you tap the Nitro Crate, and then you get some distance so that the blast does not blow you up. Because in that fraction of time between when you touch it and when it actually explodes, you can get away. This is a new ability. You're talking to a guy who's been playing Crash Bandicoot for most of his life. Many habits are instilled around how one behaves with respect to nitro crates. This is true. <laughs> Darn you, flashback tape. Harpoon Man denied me. Yeah, let's see. Oh, and but you're not gonna huh. go. You're not gonna go back, Drat. He he's drunk. So you are, come on, don't, don't you want the crate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, three, four, five, and... There comes a time in every Crash Bandicoot player's life where he just has to say, Box dang it. Oh, not the Abuga Bar again. Nice huh. cut. I got it, on my first try. Got him. Yay. Away with you, Ahab. And um, activate. I would actually call him Moloka, but, you know, I'm weird. Hey, you found out that you can actually cancel up uh, on Wall's powers. Sweet. Well, I think it's a good thing that they give you the option to cancel, because if Sometimes you mistime you use it. Sometimes incorrectly. Exactly. So you want to cancel it to save the player just a little bit of time. Mm. No, but you're still not comfortable going fast with the power, which is exactly what this segment is supposed to be attempting to teach you. First, it's easy. Then hey, it gets you harder. got the first Wumpa Gem. All right. Oh God, no! Don't don't make me walk in the foreground. I like to, I like 2D much better. Meh. We made Ouch. some hard choices here. Three lives later. I'm going to be honest, uh, Mr. President Cloud. This uh, is not as difficult as you're making it look. It's just... It's just getting used to it. It's what a lot of games are. It's just a process of getting used to something. Like bullshit. There you go. Nicely done. Hell yeah. Okay, first he retracts it, and then he and then he waits a second, and then he swings. Oh, 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 oh. that's right, because we don't have Kapunawa right now. She went away and says, screw you, you're on your own. Alright, so you're actually, are you actually going to follow the ice flows? No, you're choosing to not follow the ice flows. No, because it's going to go over a waterfall. Yeah, but you don't know that yet. And unfortunately, this uh, this segment of the game is uh, mostly about uh, about you uh, trusting, uh, either trusting or uh, or uh, challenging the level design with uh, uh, with smaller amounts of bullshit. That zombie has stinky smoker's breath. You aimed that bounce on the TNT crate really well for someone that didn't want to trigger the TNT crate. Why, thank you. On the subject of things that 
uh, Crash, that long playing veterans of the Crash Bandicoot series should know is uh, how to use the TNT crate, and how to get around it. Yeah, oh. I, saw, I saw him. I saw him. I saw the box outline. No, I did not. That, uh, well, that would have. We'll see. Uh, there you I go. I definitely missed those. <laughs> you know, sometimes you see the hidden gems, and sometimes you miss the boxes in the waterfall. This is this is the game experience. You live. You, you learn, observe. You get exploded you by TND to crates, and then you successfully get to the end of the level. Second Wumpa Gem, but we're nowhere near the third. Oh, well. You see? Someday, son, you'll 100% crash Bandicoot 4 as well. No, no, I will not. And in the next part, as we uh, dance our way to the finish line, we're going to reveal uh, a little bit about the world map, because at that cutscene with Cor with uh, Dr. Neo Cortex had shown us is... Uh, He's the boss of his domain. So you would expect that. We're going to be raising the tension towards a boss encounter. Alright. Oh, look, there's more flashback tapes over there. Mwah. Oh, be safe, everybody. Making sure it's a flashback tape location. And uh, when we unlock some more tapes, we're going to sit down and watch a video.